Because she's a woman, you challenge her. You know, she's got the capacity and she's got the competence. So I celebrate you for her. That you're able to follow your region. For women, you're able to follow your region. And I know that you are in the right direction. You are in the right direction. I know you're going to go far. Your voice has spoken. Thank you. 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 I want to ask you, I want to say something. I first want to say, what is structure? Structure, according to Wikipedia, says it's the arrangement of and relations between the parts or elements of something complex. The part, a relation between parts or elements of something that is complex. Now, what is the complexity here? The complexity here is precedence. The complexity here is governance. And what are the elements? What are the components? It's you, it's I. So without you and I being the elements, we cannot form the complexity that Peter will be wants to engage in. So it's not enough that we have Peter will be. Each one of us has to be me, Peter will be. And when I mean me, Peter will be, what does that mean? It's not just in our voices, it's not just in our gathering ourselves together, it's in the spirit. By now, if you don't know that what's pushing Peter will be is beyond ordinary, then I don't know where you are. Because what is pushing Peter will be is more than the forces you and I can see. It's a map of the East. The East among the three states, among the three geopolitical zones, uh, among the three ethnic, major ethnic groups, are one of the most relegated. And that relegation is not, um, how do I call it, it's not to be expected. Anything great is, is usually initially despised. Moses had to be hidden because of greatness. So he had to grow in the palace and create a name for himself. And then he was able to liberate his people. So now talking about, about the person of Peter Obi, like I said, we have to, it's not surprising that the Spirit of God had to be with him because usually greatness has to find its way. That's why when a woman is giving birth, Yoruba says, uh, is that, there's Yoruba man here, Yoruba usually has a greeting which I think is most phenomenal of all Britons. When a Yoruba woman has children, they will say, Eku, Eku, Oma. Eku is like death. That's congratulations because you have come out of death. You literally, for me, when I was having my first child, I used to say that I cannot account for so many minutes after birth. Because 